Yeshua makes tremendous claims. He claims to be none other than the Messiah of God. How does he make those claims? The same way that any Jew throughout history ever made such claims. He hints at scriptures which were considered messianic uh, because of the, the interpretation that had been placed on certain scriptures. For instance, um, Moses says that God one day, Moses said in, says in scripture, that God one day is going to raise up a prophet like me from your midst, from among you. And God says it also another time. He says, uh, a prophet is going to rise like Moses. Listen to him. So when Yeshua meets this funeral procession coming from the village of Nain, he puts his hand out and touches the beer, touches the stretcher, and the, it says that the bearers uh, stood. And of course, that's a Hebrew idiom, which means they halted. Because in Hebrew, you say stand, and you also say uh, la'amod means to halt. And he, and, uh, he uh, raised this young son, or this, this woman's only son, from the dead. And what did the people say? A great prophet has arisen in our midst. They don't say Messiah, but they mean Messiah because prophet is one of the synonyms for Messiah. In fact, it's more stronger than, you don't, you don't say Messiah directly, but you, you mention uh, synonyms or scriptures that refer to the Messiah. So they say, a great prophet, the same words as in scripture, has arisen in our midst. The same words in those two prophecies in the Bible, in the Hebrew scriptures, and what are they saying? They're saying, this is the Messiah. This is the Messiah. This is the prophet, the one like Moses.